welcome back to Esclop Civil Engineering. This is Atullah with another new video. As we have started, still a structured design by using ETAPS, and this is our lecture 4. And in our previous 3 lectures, we have just completed till our model. So, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the important topic or important thing of steel structure that is slab. Okay, so you know that in steel structure we do not use RCC slab, so it's known as deck. So, how we'll just define that perfectly for our structure and which types of deck should define for our structure and which types of deck should use for steel structure in this lecture? We're going to show that. So, let's uh, start. And before starting, I'm just requesting you if you're a civil engineer or if you're new to our channel, then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon. First of all, we will open our previous model. So this is our previous model. If you are resting with us, then you must know about that model and how we have um, created that model. You also know about that, right? You know about that actually. So that is our model actually. And uh, so here you can see here. This is our model actually. We have drawn till that point in our previous lecture. So I think it's okay for now. And uh, in our, I mean, in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll define slab property for it. I mean, deck property for it. So for that, I'll simply go here, define, then section properties. After that, they have two point. One is slab section and at this depth section deck sec uh, section so I'll simply click here after that here only the deck one is defined so I'll just go modify and show properties now here I'll give a deck one okay so it's okay deck one now here is the many types of deck actually so this is first of all field so what is the uh, picture of field so this is the picture of field actually okay field deck here you're seeing here this is the picture of field deck i mean uh, here uh, the black some black a t sizer you are seeing this is not black this is actually the composite beam or beam and that will uh, v in that will in that will be in the deck actually okay so after that and uh, here they have uh, unfilled so if you come here this is only simple deck i mean the sheet of deck and uh, they have another thing solid slab like our previous so this is a solid slab their only slab will be available i mean we'll use and directly like rcc slab with reinforcement and uh, it will be supported by that composite beam you are seeing in two composite beam are seeing so here for a structure actually we'll use field here yeah, that option we'll use field option so this will be our slab okay and here you are seeing that many things are available actually so, uh, slab depth so if you see here tc this is the slab depth so here it's giving 3.5 inch okay let it actually i'm not going to change anything here if you take mouse here now every value or every symbol here given wrt here uh, wrt means a rib with top okay the top width so here you are seeing that this is the top width of our that a uh, crank portion of our plate right so from here the every data are given rib depth acer and uh, this is uh, rib depth acer so what is the acer actually just see here this is the uh, depth of from uh, tc to i mean the bottom part of our deck so this is acer so uh, fg data are here given okay so when it's given every data just you need to change anything you can change that as per your requirement so i'm not going to change anymore so i will take that portion for our i'll take that portion for our deck deck slab okay deck slab I will take that is for deck slab and from here I will um, take our reinforcement that was our reinforcement S50 you know that 
I mean the that rather is still great and from here our uh, slab property okay slab material what will be the slab material this is oh uh, okay 40 psi concrete we are considering uh, as the fill concrete okay so here everything is done and if we need to modify so uh, if you need to mo use that you know, modify that modifier so you have to follow your code as per your code you'll be able to change that bending bending and bending on on to two and on to these three types of bending you are able to change uh, give here that modifier factor so i'll just recommend you please see your code and give that value here okay so when it's done i'll simply click okay so when it's done i'll go for another new property add new property then here deck stair deck for stair so for stair we'll take another deck so when it's done now for stair we'll take plain okay solid slab actually for stair we'll take solid solid slab right so when it's done when it's done we'll go for solid slab uh, it's okay and deck material deck material is not applicable because we'll not use any deck material we'll use only solid solid slab uh, it's okay and the modeling type everything is okay you can change the uh, mod modifier currently mo uh, def default so here the what will be the thickness actually slab depth dc thickness so i'll just consider this is four inch okay and share here just see here ss right here ss share should height and diameter what should be the share stud diameter and the share is to the height all right so if you see here so it's clear so uh, actually this is the bolt like bolt they have some uh, like bolt to capture the concrete okay I mean to make bonding with concrete so what should be diameter okay what should be the diameter so had been 0.75 inch diameter it's up to you how types of diameter you will use and here shear stood height and this is what should be the height actually so see here we have taken here um, TC here TC is in uh, 4 inch but it's showing height is 6 inch so it's not okay actually so we'll take our height is 3.75 okay and here the shear is to tensile strength what, what is the tensile strength how psi here it's given 6500 psi but we'll take is 50 i mean 50 ks 50 ksi right so it's done then i'll simply click okay and i'll just take it again modify here our stood height okay what should be our share stood height it's six six inch and here uh, the total height is tc and acer total height is 3.5 and uh, 3 okay okay so its height is okay share stood height stud height so uh, it's six and uh, everything is okay because the total height is tc and acer that total height is uh, 6.5 okay so we have uh, remaining six inches uh, sorry uh, 0.5 inch so it's okay and also you can give it a uh, six 5.5 like that so you'll get one inch extra for extra security okay so it's done actually simply click okay so our, uh, define our deck property or slab property that is okay so I'll simply click okay so in our next video we'll draw our stair and after that we'll draw our slab perfectly and I'll discuss about the work ability or work procedure of our main slab and composite slab now uh, simply if i go in plan view story 3 apply okay so 
I'll just delete is to extrude view. So this is on main slab actually, a yeah, main beam actually. Right click, just see here. Design is still frame design, so it's also working as still frame design. And if I select that on right click, it also working as still frame design. But it should be design procedure. It should be as a it should design as as a composite beam, right? It should be designed as a composite beam because this beam will be the most part of that beam will be in slab okay or deck in our deck so that's why it should be in composite so why it's not composite here i will discuss about that in our that lecture when we'll draw deck here okay so that us today and uh if you think that that is helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever fast so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video